Welcome back to the channel guys. Happy Sunday. I know you guys are expecting a chaparral video today, but I do have a big announcement. I do have a special surprise for you guys at the end of the video. And also kind of towards the middle, I do need you guys for something. So please stick around. I need you guys. So what is the big announcement? What do we got going? Well, I can tell you guys this. If you guys were watching the Sea Ray project, the Sea Ray boat is finally gone. I sold it, it's done. We put the money aside, so now we can finally invest in a more expensive project and get something nicer. But you guys are wanting to know what are we gonna be talking about in this video. I'm gonna tell you guys what I sold the boat for, how much I bought the boat for, and what we're gonna be doing moving forward. If you guys watched the video, Nick and I, we picked up the boat in Panama City, and if you guys missed that video, I'll put the little link that pops out about right here. You guys can click on that. Now, we picked up this boat. Uh, we negotiated fairly well. They were asking $4,500 for it, and we ended up walking away with it for $2,400. $2,400. And that boat was nasty. If you guys missed that project, awesome project. The videos, they're all right. I'm just starting on this YouTube thing, but awesome project to see. We engine swapped it, did the upholstery, vinyl wrapped it. We did everything on it, man. And if you guys missed that, I'm also gonna put that link right here. So the big, the big item you guys are asking, Mac, you guys are asking, Mac, you can't sleep. You can't sleep at night. You're wondering, how much did you sell the boat for? Well, I am gonna tell you guys, I promise, just stick around. So anyways, the boat was done. Um, I originally listed it for 17K, and that was pretty steep. I was like, I don't know about this, but the guys at West Marine were like, Mac, you need to list it for 17, get 15K out of it. I'm like, okay, that's, we can see what we can do with the boat. That might work, you know, pretty steep, but I let it, I let that listing sit for about a week. I got zero hits on it. Not good. That is, not, anytime you're selling something and you list it for a week, it's not good. And Facebook Marketplace, you can always see how many people are seeing it. I had like 500 views, not one message. So I went ahead, I dropped that price down to 14K. 14K. And I was like, man, that's, that's not bad. I still, if I always told myself, if I got more than 12 grand for this boat, I'll be happy, right? Well, we took the boat out for the water test and I started noticing that the U-joints were going out and I really didn't have the time or money to fix that at the time. So I had to make the executive decision, the executive decision, right? And that was, okay, either I keep wasting my money and putting money towards this and I can't put out YouTube content for you guys, or I just get out from under it, put my pride aside, and get away from it, put some money in the bank, and then we can buy more projects, right? <sighs> so that was a big decision for me. So I ended up dropping the price down to 12 grand, and I'm like, okay, well, that's pro I'm probably gonna get 11, 10K out of it, okay? So I let it sit, and as soon as I dropped that price down to 12 grand, my phone was blowing up, and I couldn't believe it. I was like, wow, okay. So one guy messaged me, he said, hey, we're from Georgia, we'll drive down tomorrow in the morning, we'll have the money ready to go for you. I'm like, all right, cool, I like it, I like it. So he ended up driving down, his father and his son, they came down here and they nitpicked this bow, man. They went through it for like three hours and I was stressed out the entire time. I was getting insecure because they were pulling things out, my work that I did, and I was like, ah, oh, man. They negotiated a little bit and they, they haggled me down, they haggled me down. So, at the end of the day, what did I sell the boat for? You guys are asking, Mac, just tell us, man. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, you guys ready? Are you ready? $9,000, we sold the boat for $9,000. I know some of you wanna punch me in the face right now, don't do it, it's all right. It's gonna be okay because I have a plan. We will get to that $100,000 mark, we will, I promise, it's gonna happen. So if you guys are watching my Chaparral Boat Project video, I'm gonna put that up about right here. Yeah, but if you guys are watching that project, I got an awesome deal on that boat. And that project is going extremely well right now. I love that boat, it's awesome, it's been so much fun. Awesome video series to watch. I love the comments you guys are putting on there. But here's the plan, let's get back to it. Here is the plan. Any money that we make from that boat, we are gonna be putting towards the project budget, right? So right now working with 9K, I expect we're gonna be in that $15,000 range for projects coming up. But here's where I need you guys. Here's where I need you. So please help me out. I need you guys to tell me what should I buy next to flip to make money with. 
Me personally, I want to do like a 67 Mustang or a 57 F100. We could do another boat, we could do a motorcycle. We can't do airplanes yet. I work on airplanes, but I don't have my pilot's license and I don't have the money for that yet, more importantly. So I need you guys to let me know in the comments, Mac, you need to buy this, buy this. Now if I see in the comments that there is just a list of, Mac, you need to get this 57 F100, man. I'd love to see it on the channel. I will definitely go out and buy one of those so you guys can see and learn from it. So I need you guys to put in the comments what I should buy next because ultimately these projects are gonna work up to $100,000. And then once we're past that mark, I'm not a big supercar guy, but let's buy one, why not? I don't know, I've never had one before. Maybe I will like it, I don't know. But if we can document this whole process on YouTube and you guys can stick with me the entire way, I'd really appreciate that. Also, I had an awesome comment in my last video I just wanna share with you guys. This guy right here, just awesome comment. I love how we're inspiring people and just awesome, man. I, I really didn't realize my YouTube channel had that kind of effect on people. I get a few of those comments every now and then. So thankful for, so thankful for you guys watching me. So before you guys click out of the video, I am gonna show you guys a video because I never showed you guys a video of the boat in the water. It just dawned on me the other day. I'm like, man, I've, I've done this boat project, but I've never showed my viewers the actual boat in the water because yes the boat did run super fast super fun just awesome boat man but before i show you guys that video i just want to give a shout out to the boat work play channel these guys are awesome uh super friendly guys i love watching their content they're two guys from the northeast super funny and they're building this awesome cigar boat right now and it's got three v8s in the back i don't know if they're supercharged or not but they're doing a whole restoration on it just awesome, I love watching them, they do great work, you guys should check them out. So, like I promised you guys sitting at home, I am gonna show you the boat in the water. But first, let's get the subscribe animation. I'm sorry guys, I had to do it, but anyways, let's see the boat in the water video. Have a great Sunday guys, thanks for watching as always. Let me know in the comments below what we should buy next. Without further ado, let's cue the water video.